It's inspired by a true story. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I mean, I'll, I'll read this page right now. Okay. There you go. Let's All have right. it. Let's have it. All right. This is the empty tag rope, everyone. Mm -hmm. Carter J. Collins had been missing a week, and Joe Murphy could not get anybody to give a damn. Yesterday's discovery was not going to help things in that department. Joe was as surprised as the rest of the 880 locker room when he discovered Carter's signature purple suit jacket on his chair in the locker room. The scribble note left in the breast pocket, which explained that he had departed to New Orleans suddenly, may have put the others at ease. But you, Joe knew his old partner. Everybody's favorite tag team had not always seen eye to eye, but Carter wouldn't just up and leave for New Orleans of all places. What had happened to Carter had happened right here at 880, and now right under all their noses, somebody was planning false leads. Joe knew that if somebody had done something to Carter at 880, there was only one person who may have seen it. Actually, two. Mikhail and Chrissy Sword were better than the eyes and ears of 880 Wrestling. They were the production team. Not an ounce of blood was shed in that building without those vultures immediately descending upon the carnage with their cameras to forever capture the brutality. Their business was bringing deranged violence to the masses, and they always needed content. What's this about, Joe? Mikhail said, not turning towards Joe, his focus locked on the screens in front of him. Joe spoke quietly, aware that anybody could be listening. Carter J. Collins. Anybody with half a brain knows he wouldn't have left for New Orleans. Something happened to him, and I think it happened here. Did you or any of your cronies see anything? Of course not, Mikhail said, suddenly turning towards the ring, his face reddening. Will one of you dumb fucks get that chair out of the way of hard cam? He screamed at his employees down below. The redness cooled from his face as he turned back towards Joe. Carter's in the Big Easy. There was nothing to see. The sudden dismissal didn't sit right with Joe. Could Mikhail and Chrissy have had something to do with Carter's disappearance? Had they grown so desperate for violence that they decided to make a little themselves? Joe scowled at Mikhail. If I find out you're lying, I'll show you why they call my signature move a flatliner. Hey now, Mikhail said meekly, his voice quivering. Uh, I don't want any trouble. You asked me a question and I answered it. Yeah. That better be true. Carter's gone as simple as that. If you're looking for something to investigate, you should look into that Tatiana mess, Mikhail said as he removed his glasses and cleaned them with his shirt. Tatiana mess? Joe asked, cursing himself for not masking his confusion. Yeah, she's missing. 